apples. And in Germany, they've got this amazing dessert called Apfelkuchen. And that takes a long time to make, and it's amazing. Sometimes during the week, though, I'm not gonna have a lot of time to really get that super baking thing going down. So I've come up with something that kind of tastes or reminds me of Apfelkuchen. So uh, we got two apples. For four people, we're gonna just have these. Great recipe and very fast. And these are super, super easy things to find in the grocery store. I mean, come on, apples. And I love these apples because we're gonna bake these in the oven. They're gonna really hold up for us. All right, so slice them across the equator, like I like to call them. And then uh, just take like a little spoon or a scooper and get the seeds out right there. All right, that one's good to go because in the middle, we're gonna drop some jelly. All right, so those apples, I don't want them to brown because we're gonna make the crisp topping. So just take a little piece of lemon off and squeeze and rub. This is great for kids too, they'll like this. This is really simple. Do it on the weekend, make it really special. All right, in the center, just a little scoop of jelly. When it cooks, it's gonna just kind of start distributing through the apple and just give it a little extra sweetness. I'm always trying to add that extra layer of flavor. All right, so a little bit of flour, some quick oats. This is so easy, I love this. And you know what, it's not just apples. You can do a lot of fruits with this. Peaches and put it on top of all kinds of things. A little bit of brown sugar here. Let's see if I can get that out. All right, some brown sugar. And then in a second, we're gonna get our hands dirty, which is why I said this is really good for the kids. They might like to help you out with this. And I like to do this as an adult, so you know how it is. You get in the kitchen and you just start having fun. All right, and where's my cinnamon? A little bit of ground cinnamon, always good with apples. Apples and cinnamon. Tastes good in my oatmeal in the morning. It's gonna taste good in my dessert right now. All right, throw our butter in there. And then just a pinch of salt. Always helps bring the sweetness out in a dessert. All right, the dirty part. Mix it in really good. Oh yeah, it smells like it's supposed to smell right now too. It smells like I've already made it. The good thing about this dish as well too is man, it's gonna make your house smell great. You know when you go to the grocery store and you find the candles and the potpourri, they always say apples and cinnamon, right? Come on. You've got the potpourri and the full belly with this dish. All right, so this is all looking good here. Everything incorporated. I like just kind of make a big ball out of it. Make sure all the butter is mixed in. Then we're just gonna start topping these off. All right, put one there, just work it in. Try and make sure you keep the jelly in the pocket. It's real important. Okay, some escapes, no big deal. The baked apples, fresh out of the oven, crunchy top, juicy apple, and that little dollop of jelly that's on the inside. It's like the surprise when you crack it open, it's gonna be so good for dessert.